Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, for, of course, once again in Victoria 2, playing as that big United States with Canada as an amazing puppet undress. God, I love Canada when they're under the United States. Right now, we are first in the world in prestige, as we should be second in the world in industry, probably right behind Germany or the UK for the moment. And we're obviously the global power here. Ah, I love it. This is the way it ought to be. Anyways, last time we finished our war with the UK. We beat them up. We actually took away a lot of their prestige. That's why they've only less than 700 while we have 1300. Right now we're waiting to basically go to war. I can't go to war with anyone just yet, which really sucks. Really, really sucks. And we're over our infamy limit by 7 infamy, so it is what it is. Hopefully our puppets don't want to rebel. We're making a lot of money, though. <clears throat> or at least we have a lot of money. We might not be making a lot more right now, but that's okay. If that's the case, next up is Mexico and Central America. At this point, I'm just going to just eat and take a bunch of infamy to take out all of Central America. Or at least as best as we can, so. Uh, Denmark defaults. Eh, not really interested in Denmark right now. Happy 1912, though, my friends. It's going to be a great year, let's hope. Ah, we're building up more divisions, good. More brigades, great. We got two brigades down here in Hawaii, and I even told people to emigrate here. Well, mostly because we can get rid of the Polynesians, probably. Let's see. Ireland, them. How is... Yeah, thousands a day. Thousands a day. Five thousand. Oh, wait. <clears throat> there was a crisis? There was a crisis and I didn't know about it? I love crises. Well, unless they're happening to me, and then I don't love them. Alright, alright. Ottoman Empire is still looking pretty thick. I wonder what's going to happen to the Brits, since they lost the war against us. Oh! Oh, and Germany and these guys peace out too. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Would you like an alliance? I don't think anyone wants an alliance with me since I'm over my infamy limit anyways. So. It is what it is. Germany is... Huh. It seems like they've fallen off. They really seem to have fallen off. Uh-oh. Britain's fourth in military power. Ah, oh, I love it. Cool. So, we have these guys. Five dreadnoughts. We have a single cruiser. A couple of transports. Yeah, keep making your guys up. Come on. Regular clothes. We need clothes? Hmm. Where are the clothes? I always ask that. I usually ask that, actually. Consumer goods. They're probably under consumer goods, and they look like... Right here. Going to buy a bunch. We have we have the money for it. So, Summit of 1912, a success. Uh, we've seen that one last time, and it wasn't a success. So I don't really know what that's about, but whatever. Uh, even more coal production. Great industry. Synthetic polymers would be great. Behaviorism would be okay. Hyperinflation? Probably not. Kenyan economics? Let's get that. That sounds like fun. When you say keys... I think that's how you pronounce it. I gotta go for that, right? So, we'll get there eventually. Let's see. Budget-wise, I mean, we're doing pretty darn well. We can get some oil, yes. Can we build up any more factories? Oh, yeah. Alabama. Oh, that's Mississippi. I always get those two mixed up. Alabama's on the right, Mississippi's on the left. Very good. Valdosta. Oh, never been there. Probably never going to be there. Ah, good. Build up the ports. Build up them ports. We need bigger scores. Bigger military scores. It's so Alabama. You have coal. Are you literally only... Oh, you're three states. Coal, cotton, and iron. Ah, uh, we're, uh, we're Republican. We can't build factories, which is... Eh, could do better. Suppress things. That's all. I'm just going to do that, too. That's fine with me. Steel steamers are very good. Very good. Oh, wait, hold on. Open everything up. Open everything up. We need as much score as possible right now. Suppress this now. Anything? No. Nothing right there. Build in a bigger navy. Oh, now we can go to war. Okay, cool. Uh, this might put us at war with other people that don't want us to be at war any longer. Hey, but Venezuela looks pretty good. That's not right over here. Twitch. Close Ireland and the UK are still doing okay. We'll probably end up in a war against the, the Brits again, which is fine with me. Totally fine. Uh, Brazil. Definitely want you under us. 
Yep, no one likes us, which makes sense. Oh, they're socialists, too. How about our puppets? Eh, they're kind of like us. Let's do this one first. That's a case. Well, anyone come to the defense of Costa Rica? Because I'm just going to straight up conquest them. Infamy is but a number right now to me. And give me one moment. Let's see. All right. How much? How much population do we have actually? So currently, we have over a hundred and one million people living here in the Conservative Party, rocked by scandal. Well, I hate to break it to the Conservative Party, but the Democrats haven't been in power for a while now. It's either been Republicans or Socialists. Ah, mission to Costa Rica. Very good. Tensions dissipate. Very good as well. It only costs us 16 infamy, that's all. Uh, we're actually still... Well, except for our military spending. Still at full blast for our national stockpiles. And, uh, military spending. The price of infamy... Oh boy, there are mumblings in the international community regarding the U.S.'s warlike demeanor, and some are talking about the need for a united front to contain American aggression. There are even efforts to stir up our own citizens against us. We will have to be careful in the future, lest we face not a single enemy with other, that of the world's greatest powers united against us. International Pariah. Alright, well, whatever. We'll see what happens. I mean, we'll go in this campaign as far as we can with our super high infamy limit, so... Ah, uh, Land Liberty Honor, where is this? American Chaco. Um, where's Chaco? Did I spell it wrong? Uh, maybe it's some American. There you go. That's what I thought. I thought it was down here in South America. Uh, oh, there it is. Chaco. Eh. You get more population growth assimilation rate. Uh, Guarni Patian. There's no Americans building down here, though. <clears throat> Oregon. Let's get some more people in Oregon. I think I, I, that's better. Do we have unemployed folks here? Oh, what's that? Does that make sense? Uh, what are our national spirits? Or national spirits. National focus is doing. Liberal support here in Nevada. Yeah, you could probably still use it to be honest with you. Oh, there's some fashion support here too. You need another artillery dude. Actually, hold on. What does this guy need? He's another infantry first. First tractor in Cuba. Cool. I'm encouraging intellectuals down there. Our athletes are victorious. Glory to the youth of our nation. And I'm joined here with a cup of good old American coffee. Let's see. Sonora. Ah, they're pretty good. Let's get rid of them. And let's go... Hmm. Population-wise. Clerks. 8%. Almost 9% is probably too much. 6% is probably too much. 5%, 10%, 5%. Hmm. Well, let's go to our numbers here. <clears throat> Utah, or North Carolina, or Illinois. Utah. Well, Utah, California, West Virginia, North Carolina. Where's my North Carolina? Let's see. Good. Wow, there's a lot of social support. Surprise, we're still Republican. Good. Good. Wave of colonial unrest. It'll all pass eventually. Yeah. Only 33% of the population is Mexican, actually. Huh. That's interesting. Ah, good. More stuff is done. South... Oh, South Italians? Oh, yeah, become Dixie. Italian Dixie. A Italian Southerners. Now that's wild. Mesoamerican. Some South Germans, some Ashkenazi, some more North Italians. Uh, let's do that one next. The world may not like us, but we do make quite a profit here. And that should mean people should like us enough. There we go. Small little armies that's going to get annihilated <laughs> uh, when we get into war. Mission to Costa Rica. Very good. Nice. You guys looking great. Oh, we can build another fort here. That's good. Vacuum tubes. How is the navy looking? 
glorious. Well then. Wowzers. Wow, it's mostly in the south. Oh, that's interesting. Why, why is it just in the south? Yeah, there's some in Mexico too, but you guys go ahead and do that as well. Take them on out. And how far are we with our war justification? Oh, we're done. Yeah, let's go and raise the budget. Why not? We have enough money for it. We can raise chairs just a little, little bit. Not, not, not by much, though. There you go. 4,000. Jesus. That's after we raised uh, military spending, too. Jesus. Oh, so we can build another navy. Yeah, we can afford at least one more. Uh, do we have a fleet around for the west coast? We really don't. And we got a guy down there. Come over here, man. That'd be good. And let's build another one up. One, two, three, four, five. Go from the bottom of New Orleans. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Eleven, twelve. And we'll start from the bottom. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. 32 ships and whatever. That's close enough. Close enough to 30. Nice. Very good. Honestly, we just probably go to war and <clears throat> enjoy ourselves. Might as well. It really they don't even have a military score. A military score? Military score at all. Um what if I just... Oh! Did I just... Ooh. Nice. Look at all... Everything's... Be... Almost everything's being built immediately. That's really nice. One, two, three, four, five. Good. You guys come there. What are we... St. Thomas? Oh, we got troop ships. That's what makes sense. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, they mobilized a little bit. First tractor in some place. Okay, they broke relations. Whatever. I wonder when they're gonna... Oh, they're in this French sphere. An allied with Guatemala. Can I take out the French? Probably. Their navy probably isn't that good compared to ours. But instead... Oh, yeah, the French really have influence here. Honduras? Honduras might be ni nice to take out next. I'm really gonna be pissing everyone off here now. That's my goal, just piss everyone else off. Tensions dissipate as they should. Yeah, wars happen to us. No one cares, though. Look how many people we're still getting. A thousand. Over a thousand a day. I mean, that's... That's saying something when you have so much infamy, but your people still want to come immigrate to your country because you know how good you, it is living down there. Just, mmm. Even better supply limit? Yes, buddy. Nice. And, sorry, Costa Rican ships. It is what it is. And you're dead. God, I love that we built the Panama Canal. <clears throat> Come on, one of the great powers, fight me. Wait, why did I send you this way? Still over here. <laughs> Still making tons of money. Tons of money. Actually, how strong is Honduras? They got a couple of guys here. Eh, we've over 60 infamy. Infamy is but a number, right, my friends? There we go. Ah, I love American Costa Rica. I know a guy from Costa Rica, actually, too. He's, he's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Even though we just beat you up, how we add you add one of these guys? There you go. Socialist demagogue. Socialist demagogue in the upper house has launched a t long tirade against the government from the speaker's podium, ridiculing the government for what he calls its inability to quell the increasing social unrest in the United States of America. He claims that under a socialist government regime, their leadership, the party, and the masses speak as if with one voice. A few things to learn. Uh, all populations lose one militancy. That's not bad. I like that. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of the consciousness. Why is it going up? Is it because we're very infamous? Meh. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of more people we gotta put down then. Which is okay with me since we, uh... Well, we did pretty well, honestly, so far. Oh, we can build another military. Yes, 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 yes. So that's looking pretty good, honestly. I'm gonna... Oh, we got another army down here Florida. We should probably have another army maybe up here? No, put them in Chicago. You never know. They can be a good group that to take out other people. You need to be uh, artillery. God, I'd love to get tanks. I'm not, I never really use tanks that much. I think they replace artillery, so they're very expensive to build, but we're America, so we can afford them. Alright, anything else? 
open everything up. Build, build, build. Make sure we get this high. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, sure, I guess. Internet. Oh, no, 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 no. So, even though large tracts of land in many old and famous states have fallen or may fall into the grip of the American, of the American and all the odious apparatus of the rule, we shall not flag or fail. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in Europe. We shall fight on the seas and the oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength. We shall defend our land and the people of our planet, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight in the landing grounds, in the fields, in the streets, and fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if which I do not for a moment believe this land or large part of it were subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas and armed and guarded by our fleet would carry on the struggle until in God's good time the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and liberation of the old. With the speech, the great powers finish their assembly and vow to stop using any means they can. Bring them on. Oh my gosh. We get until 1933. For 20 years, monthly, a lot more monthly war exhaustion. Wow. Wow. But are they fighting me? Um, I think doing that makes it so that they can't go to war with me, so I'm going to accept that. Come on, people, come to Hawaii. You know, you can put sanctions on me, and you can hate me as much as you like, but when I'm getting, like... Oh, I'm not getting that many, that many more immigrants. I'm getting, like, nine guys from Austria-Hungary. I'll still take it. Wow, have you ever seen it when American people don't want to, like, immigrate to America? Holy cow. Well, it seems like we're going to have to restructure the world a little bit, if you know what I mean. Now, I want them to go to war with me. Because I just leave, I'm just minding my own business. We still have 103 million people here, so... I'm not really that worried. So, you... Oh, you actually... Actually, you know what? You... We'll come over here and do that. There we go. Cool. They don't want to do business with me? That's okay. That's okay. We can make enough money. I hope. Oh, wow. Nice. Total expenses, mostly due to national stockpile purchases, which makes sense. All right. You guys combine. You guys. There's enough of you guys here. Oh, we have the military spending high. That's okay. Chaos in. Oh. All right. Let's head on up to Honduras. That's a lot of money lost every day. And, which, we talk about purchases, war happened, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. Drunken riots, very cool. I wonder if we could win here. They only have infantry, which we should be able to, yeah, we're, we're destroying them. Are we gas, oh, we're even gassing them. Oh, that's destructive. Love it. Tensions dissipate, very good. I wonder how far I can push people being pissed off. I only have less than 60 infamy. Come on, guys. It's not that bad. I'm losing thousands of dollars by the day, but that's okay. If that's the case, let's go and get some more taxes. Maybe? Perhaps? Tax efficiency? I love tax efficiency. I love being efficient. And then we'll start looking at this a little bit more. And it only costs us 19. That's all. Only 19. We only have 10, uh, you know, consciousness. That's all. Wow. From a lot of infamy and international isolation. Don't push me, fascist boys. If you're going to isolate me from the world, that isn't going to be very good for everyone. But we do what we must. Ah, look at that. Nice. Uh, let's see if we raise taxes just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Mexican Patriots, well, we'll put them down like we need to. Hawaiian Nationalists probably won't survive that much. Does it help the budget at all? It might, it might not. National Stockpile Purchases, 3,000, we might get over that too. Oh man, look at that Navy. The Navy's eating up a lot of our budget. Well, that helps a little bit. <clears throat> Good. Put him down. Put him down like the, uh, like we should. Very good. 
I don't see how far we can go with this. Hmm. 3,000. Very good. We shall rebuild. Of course we shall. Now, that definitely helps the budget. Doesn't help us that much, though. Just a little bit more taxes. And maybe just a tad bit less spending there. Just a tad bit less spending there. Doesn't help... That helps a little bit. Lower by 5%, perhaps. Or 6%. Doesn't help that much over there. Wow. Subsidies are expensive. So, I'm going to have to cancel all subsidies for everyone, except for you. Let the groups reorganize. Ah, finally, a little bit of green. I don't mind subsidi subsidizing a little bit, but... Mm. Yeah, it's not going down. That's good. Very good. Very good. Also, I'll, I'm going to let you know that I have no idea how far we are into this, this uh, episode just because I forgot to uh, record this. I forgot to rec uh, start my stopwatch. So, it is what it is. Hey, look. You guys are here. Let's see. Just in case. Five... You never know. You never know. Now, our industry will be going down probably a little bit since I'm not subsidizing most of the industry again. But we'll see what happens. Alright. Ah, yes. Get some more administrative efficiency. That would help out probably as well. You guys come over here too. State capitalism, please. And national stockpile of purchases, tensions in your all state. Assert our position, get infamy, no one cares. Wow. Tobacco? First tractor, that's good. Are we really buying that much tobacco? Where's tobacco? Consumer goods, oh there it is. Huh. Yeah, national stockpile purchases are costing us the most. Shall we host? Yes, we shall host the Olympic Games. I think that'd be a great thing to do. Oh, wow. Suppress us now. That'd be good. And open up the factories. It's going to cost a lot to do that. We could probably subsidize that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We need some of that. Uh, Virginia, you can certainly subsidize all that. The economy is definitely in a shift right now. El Salvador, very good. Very good, very good. Eh, Utah's not doing too bad either. Look, as long as we're green, that's what really matters to me. Excelente. 107 million people still here. Mm. Execute him. Strike breakers. Break up the strikes. Let them strike. Just go and let them strike. That's fine. We become socialists. That's fine with me. Oh, election finished. <clears throat> Nothing happened. As it should be. Alright, so much longer must we wait? Not much longer. Outrageous. Reaction. We have a reactionary party? Is it is still the Southern Democrats? Yeah, so the Southern Democrats. Huh. Cool. Budget-wise, we'll probably be fine against these guys. I'm not really worried about El Salvador. Very nice. Very nice. We had war. No one cares, though. <clears throat> are there any other wars besides me going to war right now? Uh, the Brits are still going to war again. Yeah, they're first in industry. Makes sense. Second in military power. Still losing a little bit of money here, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. Still second largest industry in the world, which is awesome. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. I think it's time 
Let me get involved with France maybe a little bit more. Wait, hold on. Newfoundland's here. World War One still has not occurred yet. It's 1915. Hmm. Huh. I mean, we are the global leaders right now. The UK is catching back up to us, though. And that's not a good thing. Russia looking pretty Russian. If we go to war with the UK, we gotta do it correct. So, uh, yeah. Cut down to state. What if we just went to war with these guys? What would that be like? This, oh yeah. We'll probably do that uh, when we're in the middle of the war fighting Mexico. We'll destroy Mexico, of course, and destroy the British Navy again. So, ah, like old times. Oh, we got some socialists there. Okay, well, let's take care of those guys. And, there we go. Is consciousness going down? It's probably because I've been killing people. Ah, good. Ah, oh, sure, you can go through if you need to. Go and do that first. Research. Not bad. Oh, oh. Let's get some better roads, maybe. Oh, aeronautics. That sounds like fun, but I really want better roads. Better pay your debts, Liberia. And... Been a little bit less. The Shadow of War. Oh. Sweden has approached us with a proposal to ally with them. Hold on. What, what is Sweden doing? What are they doing? Oh, they're fighting the Germans? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not interested in fighting the Germans, man. Oh, wait. Well, this is the perfect time to go to war with France. This is literally the... Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, so France is going to get dismantled. Oh crud. Oh, Austria's trying to fight. Okay, so we don't have a World War One, but we definitely have a lot of conflict here. <laughs> wow, Germany, you're going to dismantle France? Jesus. Oh, you're also fighting. Oh, yeah. Austria-Hungary might die here. Um, hmm. Well, then. I could fight the French. Make them as a puppet under us. Shadow of War. Oh, yeah. Let's ally with the Germans. Uh, Sure, why not? It doesn't really matter. Sweden, Greece. I'm not even going to do anything because the Germans will be able to take them out. Uh-oh. Declare a state of emergency. What does that do? Monthly war exhaustion goes down. Uh, no, I don't want people to... Well, people are already pissed off at me anyways. Yeah, we're gonna have some serious rebels here. Pretty soon. Pretty darn soon, not gonna lie. Pretty darn soon. You guys come to Texas. And be prepared to get some armor. Alright, so we still, still got a little bit of money. Let me lower that by just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Good. Oh, war is upon us. We shall be victorious. Yes. That'd, that'd be great. War exhaustion is... Is it going up or down? 0.23. Well, not really doing much. Good. Intervene eventually. How do we get international isolation? Wait, hold on. We got places that are blockaded. Um, I'm telling. I don't think we have any place blockaded. Not gonna lie. Oh, maybe except for over here. Maybe except for over there. Oh, look, it's going down. That's nice. I like seeing it going down. Twenty nine point four six. Supply consumption. Unit starting experience. Recruit times. Combat width is good. Oh, look, we're fighting even more people now. Including the Serbs. Oh, oh, we're with Ireland. Oh, maybe we can make an Irish puppet. You know what? That'd be kind of fun. Spain is getting demolished, though. Maybe we get a Portuguese puppet. Hmm. I really just want to go to war with Mexico, though. So we'll go there eventually. Oh, it's become a great war. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it is what it is. So I guess I'll send one guy over. Hey, we're making a little bit of money too. You guys get on the boat. Uh, Portugal's pretty distracted, so I guess we'll head over there. And we'll send you guys too. That's the case. You got. Oh boy. Uh, I really don't want to move that army. Uh, this guy is going to be a little bit delayed. You guys come down here. Very good. Very good. Head on over to Portugal because I want Portugal under us. Uh, the war's not going well enough for us. Oh wow, maybe not. Ivory Coast, Eastern Mali, dismantle the. Yep, that's exactly what I was expecting. So uh, I'm not really worried about that too much. It's mostly the South again. The South is very filled with socialists. Very socialist South. If that's the case, just sit, come over here too. Oh, these guys need help. Shadow of War, refuse. Yeah, I'm not gonna ally with us. You're nuts. Let's pause it. Not every ship here has soldiers in it, which is good. Come to Lisbon. Then you guys. Come to Combra. Nope, something happened there. Shadow of War. Nope. Nope. Begin sieging them down. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Big. Mm. FME isn't looking very good around here. Awesome, very good. Take the capital. Wait, we're at peace already? Oh god. Uh, I'll say you guys go home first. Nempico. Wow, we. That was a fast war. We didn't really get much out of it. We didn't get anything out of it. But a good time. That's all we got was a good time. Which could be worse. You guys are going down there. You guys are going down there. Armies are still blowing people up over there. Nice. And I'm going to send you guys back home. Go to DC. Why don't you come to Baltimore? Good. Uh, Canada, we still love you. We still love you, Canada. Ecuador's got a couple rebels. Uh, cool. Yes, Austria's not doing that well against them. Do that. Good. We're still making money now. We are making some serious bank. Italian relations. Better interests. Part of the government have begun a campaign to reduce or even eliminate American influence. Some of our diplomats have fled and now we're faced with unpleasant prospects of either forcing our interests or suffering embarrassments at our inability to manage a former ally. Uh, going to lose the prestige. We're still top. American India. Our diplomats secured a rounding success today in D.C. as they managed to pry the rights of the colony of India during the last round of talks under the dismantlement of the defeated countries. The colony might rebel against our rule and fight for their independence, but our exclusive claim to be sure to make other powers envious of American diplomacy. Let India welcome American rule. We can't wait for other opportunities. Oh my goodness. The war is over. Long live the United States of America. Oh boy. Oh crap. Oh, don't tell me I can't go to war now. Oh, we still got that. That's good, though. Well. Uh, France, you're looking a little Britain either. Wow. Greenville. Make a... What? Wait, oh, I was make, trying to make him a puppet. What the heck? Oh, god dang it. We got in that war, which... The Shadow of War... Whoa. I love the UK. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, that's fine. I guess I'll come to war, too. It really doesn't matter to us anymore. Uh, if I could get India, that'd be great. Oh, we do own this little thing. Awesome! Give a piece of Indian territory. You make tanks. American to I welcome Tunisia. Oh my god, we went in the war and look at what we're, what we're getting. This was a, the greatest war we ever got into. We didn't have to do a single goddamn thing and we're still getting stuff. I love it. God, why can't other wars be like this? Let's see, we'll build some infantry. Infantry. Maybe a armor piece. Maybe... Hussar, instead of the infantry, we'll get more armor, maybe. Ah, oh, good, even better railroads. Nice. Oh, industry's completely done. Army-wise, some airplanes, that'd be great. 
tensions dis- Oh. Yeah, we're poor with those guys, whatever. No one cares about those guys. Oh yeah, build them up. Build up all the roads. American- Yep. I don't even know where that is, but we're gonna do- Say yes. Nice. Yep. We gain infamy, but infamy is but a number. We have sanctions on us, but you know what? Screw everyone else. Screw everyone else. You know? They even allied with us. If people don't have money to spend, we'll build it up ourselves anyways. Look at that. This is just turning beautiful. God, that was the best war we we were ever a part of. I swear. Yep. Thank you, Germany. I mean, I'm not sure what else to say. Just thank you, Germany. Michigan? No, it's southern Ontario. This Michigan. Suppress it. Ah, oh, yes. Suppression. Just casual suppression. I wish there was a button we could just say, just to suppress everyone. Of course. We only have 90 infamy. Now Canada better love us. We're building up a lot of roads in there. Let's see. Good. It's only 1916. We, I guess we ha technically had the first Great War, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so Canada's done. We want to make sure that they're really, really up and coming. They might break free of our puppet, though, eventually, just because they might eventually become a great power, which is something I really hate in this game. If your puppet becomes a great power, then, well, they're no longer your puppet, which I really do not like. Wow, that's a lot of infamy. Uh, trading privilege rights? Open up the colony? Sure. Kansas. Oh man, we need to have an even bigger army. Illinois, you guys, you guys. That might have been it for, like, conquest? So. Besides, the next war against Mexico, we should be able to take everything from them anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. Railroad simulator. Excellent day. Excellent as well. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. There's Honduras. Very nice, very nice. Hispaniola. Got that done. Get some railroads down here too. Let people rebel, so we, I do know that we don't have a lot of money. Of course. Uh, let's fine, do that. Oh man, look at that. Oh boy. Hey look, our allies are trying to help us out. I totally forgot we own this part of Africa. Oh wait, we got Gabon. Ah, oh, we finally have all of Gabon under us. That's nice. Ah, uh, yes, Madagascar. Ah, uh, where's my King Julian? Uh, Portugal. Yeah, I'm curious relations with you. As you can tell, I'm not very interested at all about, uh, who is this? You press our claim. Worried about the war against this Jopur or whatever. They'll get it eventually, so. Ah, more prestige, good. Awesome, awesome. Get some more railroads here, or more just roads, I guess in general. And then we'll figure, figure out how we can better manage our finances. Oh boy, you're not looking good. You need two tanks or whatever. Build some more armor. We're going to have to build a lot of armor. That's going to cost, cost us a lot. What is costing us the most right now? Uh, yeah, industrial stockpile purchases still. Tons of purchases. Costing so much. Uh, you can probably lower this by a little bit first. Lower this by a little bit as well. Lower that as well. Intervene eventually. There we go. Still making quite a bit of money. That's good. My gosh. We can build so many divisions, so many brigades, so many armies. So, how do we get another one? Alright, let's see. Three, four, 
five. Let's go five. One, two, three, four. And here. One, two, three, four. Five. Um. That's Africa. Oh, well, hold on. Let's redo that just because we don't know where we're gonna build all that. We want to do it in America. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have one, two, three, four, five. So there we go. Nice. We're only third in the world for industry. Oh, what the heck is this? Wait, is this is me. Oh, this is me. Hello. Hello. Wow. I even owned the car. This was probably the greatest war we ever were really a part of. Wow, that was fast building infrastructure. Holy cow. Anything else for this? Commerce? Yeah, let's get some more commerce. Commerce is nice. Let's do that. Put some roads around here. Direct rule from DC? I think so. Oh my gosh, we own so much around here. We're even allied with Morocco? That's cool. Uh, sure, if you want to come on through, that's fine with me. I don't really care. As you can tell, late game, I really don't care too much about my natural spirits. Too much, so. Uh, sure, why not? Obviously, this is... All this land is pretty much a distraction for when we end up in a war with someone else. So, it is what it is. However, we gotta make sure this army is even bigger. Armor, we get some infantry. Uh, let's see. Let's go with one, two. One, two. So that's four... Let me grab another engineer, maybe grab French armor oh, French armor. I'll grab armor. Get another artillery piece, get some more infantry. Well this will be like probably the biggest army we have here. Oh, what is this? African Asian Asian farms. Cool. Claims Sengal, sure. Companies know what it is. No, we want coffee. Let's do that. Gabon. Rubber, precious goods. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely what Madagascar. Coffee, tropical wood, cotton. I'd probably do that. Uh, anything else? Molly State. Oh. No more war? What do you mean you want no more war? Oh, it expires in 1919. This means you have very few CBs that you can begin a war with while this fire lasts. About time. Orders restored. African Asian farms. Good. Well, that's pretty much probably where we're going to be uh, leaving this for now. This has been very, very interesting. You know, even though we didn't have a lot of allies. Um. Whoa. Austria. Hungary is pretty much going to die. France is when just smacked to hell and back. Uh, we got a lot of colonies ourselves now, and I think we're doing pretty well. We're definitely going to continue, and I'm definitely going to eat up Mexico before this campaign is done. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we will go to war, probably, with Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.